Hi everyone. Welcome to FreeCAD Newbie. Today we are going to work on the SolidWorks Model Mania Challenge from 2010. Here is the blueprint for our model which is a simple swing arm. Our plan here is to create two bodies, one for the top view and one for the side view. Then we'll only need to intersect them to get the final body. Let's create a new file and save it. Switch to Part Design Workbench, create a new body, then create a new sketch. We are going to make the top view first, so here we choose the XY plane. Let's create the basic shape first. Here I'll only create half since we can easily mirror the other half later. Now I will apply the obvious measurement first. With that done, now I'll fillet the two required corners. If we look at the blueprint, we can see the distance is measured from the middle of the arc, so here I activate the marker mode, then create lines to connect the lines around the arcs. Next make those markers tangential to the lines around them. With the markers done, now we can apply the horizontal distance for the arcs. Now our sketch is fully constrained, so we can close it. Next we will pad the sketch. Here I put 60 millimeters, which is more than we need, to avoid issues where Boolean operation failed because of the intersecting faces. Next we'll mirror the pads. As you can see, after we mirror it, the shape is good. However, there is a line separator in the middle. To remove that line, we are going to refine this mirror result. With that done, now we are going to create the pocket. Select the top face and create a new sketch. First create the external references. Next we'll create the basic shape. Make the top and bottom points symmetric. Make these lines parallel. Fillet the corners. Make the arcs symmetric as well. Arc 
Our sketch now is fully constrained, so we can close it. Now we just need to pocket the sketch all the way from top to bottom. At this point our top body is done. Now we are going to create a new body for the main shape. Here we are working on the front view, so choose the XZ plane. Let's create two arcs, then set the radius. Create two lines to connect them, then make those lines tangential. Now we just need to set horizontal distance, and we are done. Next we'll pad the sketch for 60 millimeters. Now we are going to create a big hole. Select the front face and create a new sketch. Let's create the basic shape. Make these two lines parallel, then make these lines perpendicular between each other. Switch to marker mode, then create a line from the center. Make these points symmetric against the marker. Set the angle between the marker and X line to 45 degrees. Finally, set the length of the marker. And, we are done with this sketch. Now pocket that hole through all the way. Next we are going to create a small hole. Select the face and create a new sketch again. Use the right arc as external reference, then create a circle. Now we are done. Pocket this hole again like before. Next we are going to create the middle hole, so create a new sketch again. Create the external references. Next we'll make the basic shape. Make the top and bottom lines tangential with the right arc. Fillet the corners, then set the radius for the left arc. Next we'll make the arc symmetric between the X line. Now we'll make this line parallel with the top line. Next we just need to set the dimensions, and we are done.
Finally, pocket that hole through all the way. Now our main body is ready, we just need to do a boolean operation with the top face, so we'll make it visible. Once done, hide the top face again. Now we just need to fillet the edges. That's it. Our swing arm is finished. Now we are going to do the second phase, so save the project. Remove the fillets and boolean operation. Next remove the top body as well. Now create a new body for the top face. Then hid the main body. Create a new sketch in the XY plane. Like before, let's create the rough shape, then apply the measurements. Now our sketch is fully constrained, we can close it. Next we will pad the sketch. Here I put 60 millimeters like before. With that done, now we are going to create the pocket. Select the top face and create a new sketch.
Now we just need to pocket the sketch all the way from top to bottom. Now we just need to do a boolean operation with the main body, so we'll make it visible. Switch the active body to the main, then do boolean operation with the top face. Once done, hide the top face again. Now we just need to fillet the edges. So, unfortunately FreeCAD failed to fillet it. Apparently the problem is in this edge. So this small area prevents FreeCAD to fillet this edge. Let's try to refine it. Unfortunately that area is not gone after being refined. It's still not gone even after recomputing, so we'll need to make some changes from the blueprint. Let's increase the length of this line. Now our fillet is working. So, unfortunately FreeCAD still has issues when filleting, but at least it's not crashing on us. Now our second swing arm is finished, so that's all from me for now. Thanks for watching.